Hello everyone, and welcome to Dino Draws Dinos, in which a dino draws dinos in alphabetical order. Today, we will be looking at the Aeolosaurus, which will be our second titanosaur, and an herbivorous sauropod that lived in South America in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means Aeolus Lizard, referring to the Keeper of the Winds, Aeolus from the Odyssey. So I guess it was just really windy where it was found? I don't even know. Once, this dinosaur, on a rainy day, was trying to get a baby to go to bed. They hadn't known each other for very long, but the Aeolosaurus felt that it was their duty to keep them safe. They had been at a small restaurant for a few hours, and noticed that the baby was standing outside under the awning of the shop to avoid the rain. The dinosaur had first hoped that the baby was waiting for their parents or another guardian, but after a while it was clear no one was coming. The Aeolosaur stayed with the baby under the awning, not saying much, but did alert the restaurant staff, who then, after checking to see if the baby was any of the customers, called the police. Until the police came, the Aeolosaurus tried to be as friendly as possible, having some experience with young kids, being an elementary school teacher and all. The two talked for a while about hobbies, TV shows, and other such things, although each time a topic ended, there would be a long silence. The police finally came after not too long and talked to the Aeolosaurus about the baby. The Aeolosaurus offered to go to the police station with them since they didn't have work the next morning and since they had to do some paperwork. After a lot of conversations and a lot of paperwork, it was determined that it was going to be a little harder to get in touch with the guardians of the baby than they initially thought, and it would take at least a couple more hours until they'd get some information back. The Aeolosaurus got back to the waiting room with the baby and noticed how the young one was barely awake. It made sense as it was already around midnight. As they got to the chairs, the baby was practically asleep, and when the Aeolosaurus sat down, without notice, the baby got on its back and just sat there. The dinosaur let the baby stay there, since they didn't want to disturb them, but they noticed after the baby had closed their eyes, instead of just falling asleep, it started to silently weep. The Aeolosaurus' heart panged, as it understood the baby's tears, however it could not imagine the pain it must feel. After crying a few tears himself, they bent down to comfort the young baby, and right there, just for a moment, with the uncertainty of finding the baby's parents, and all the questions and tears surrounding this event, it felt as if everything would be alright. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all, my soulful operettas. I hope you liked my drawing, and I hope to see you again next time. This has been Dino Draws Dinos.